Hey, and welcome to episode 7 of season 2 of Passionate It Out with Paul Hash, the show where I ask the questions that everybody forgot to ask. Today I'm talking to Phoenix Suns legend Charles Barkley. So don't cry foul because this should be a slam dunk and hopefully not too terrible. Anyway, let's meet Charles Barkley. Charles, for the past several years now, you spend your off-season by trying to teach penguins how to fly. Uh, when are you going to just give up and realize that just ain't going to happen? Uh, I'm looking at this as my last year. I, you know, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. I'm not going to say 100%, but I believe that this is going to be my last year. What are your thoughts on the adulation that both you and Michael Jordan received for being able to save thousands of dollars a year on costly shampoo? Adulation is great sometimes, yeah. but I think if you've been having it for so long like we have, I think you're just tired of it because it grinds on you. Everyone knows it's a common thing for NBA players to talk trash on the court, but do you feel even a little bit bad for trying it out on your mother first? My mother, she's kind of a... She's just a great mother, but she's not a really, really tough person mentally. Charles, you have a pet parrot that you have named Larry Bird, yet you have never taught him how to talk. Tell me about him. He's, I consider him my best friend in the world. Uh, just, he's my best friend in the world because he just respects me. I respect him. He's never asked me for anything. You're known to be a longtime follower of the teachings and wisdom of Yosemite Sam. Tell me a little bit about him. He's a white person from the South who never ever worried about color, never worried about what his friends thought. He says blacks and whites should be friends and if people don't like it, that's tough. You've ruffled a few feathers at a recent charity event when you played a game against a team of fourth grade girls and you just completely annihilated them with 137 to nothing. What's your response? Uh, that's probably the best thing I've done since I've been an athlete because it created so much debate. And yeah. like I said, I probably get four to 5,000 letters a week and 4,000 are positive. I don't care about the thousand, but the other 4,000 is what, what it's about because you can't please everybody. Two words. Orville Redenbacher. What the hell was his problem? Sometimes, I think when you're living a life as a celebrity, you don't realize how good you are. Charles, you and your wife Maureen have two children. What kind of morals and ethics do you teach them? We screwed our kids up. We have taught them that the only way you can be successful is you got to make a lot of money. Right. Recently, a female sports reporter was horrified when she caught a glimpse of you Irish step dancing buck naked in the locker room. Who else was traumatized by this spectacle? Uh, uh, mother, grandmother, wife, daughter, uh, grandfathers, uh, everybody, brother. I know it's a sore subject, but let's talk about the incident when the Phoenix Suns bus broke down in a mountain pass and you panicked and resorted to cannibalism and ate three of your teammates. Does it bother you that the media keeps reminding you of this? Well, that bothers me a little bit because I think the media, you know, obviously me and the media have had our problems, and I think they have made me out to be a worse person than I am. And finally, Charles, what's your opinion on all the younger players and rookies in the NBA today? These kids are already out there. They're selling drugs. They're killing each other for money, for jewelry, for drugs. But we have taught them the only way you can be successful is for money. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining me again on Hashing It Out with Paul Hash the show where I ask the questions everybody forgot to ask. You'll definitely want to join me next time for a very special edition of the season finale of Hashing It Out. I'm Paul Hash. Hope to see you soon. Excuse me.